Hi, I'm Swabreen, your host of Pour It Up, the show where we explore the best that Philly has to offer in cocktails, craft beer, and coffee. Today, we're over in Callow Hill at Brick and Mortar to learn about shims. And what are shims? Those session cocktails. Brick and Mortar is an American tavern located in the Goldtex building. This building was built in 1904 as a ladies' shoe factory. And today, I'm speaking with Christina, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the menu. So the idea behind our cocktail menu at Brick and Mortar is a welcoming, approachable, yet sophisticated approach to drinks. So we have our shaken, stirred, and sessionable cocktails. Sessionable meaning low-proof alcoholic beverages. So I'm going to make a couple of those right now for Schwabri. Mm -hmm. Cocktail is a classic cocktail that was developed in the 1890s at the Grand Hotel in Yokohama, Japan. Um, it was kind of a riff on a martini, but with a little more, some, some more complexity, some more layers. Um, it's great for any time of the year. Um, its main ingredients as it includes is a blanc vermouth. We use Dolan here, so that is from Cham Chambry, France. Uh, they actually created and commercialized blanc style vermouth, so it's as sweet as your traditional sweet red vermouth, but it's got a more herb centric complexity to it. So it's equal parts of your blanc vermouth and sherry. What we're using right now is a, um, an East India Solera sherry, so it's a mix of an Oloroso and a Pedro Jimenez. Um, this is going to be pretty dry with some notes of ra raisin and um, stone fruit like apricot and things like that. Uh, you add a couple dashes of orange bitters and then you round it all out with a half teaspoon of cane syrup. And to kind of cut through some of the sweetness and layers of this cocktail, you want to add some brightness from a lemon peel. And that's going to be expressed and then tossed in. So this is the bamboo. So right off the bat, you get a really delicious um, citrus aromatics from the spritz that she did. And the first sip, it's very like, luscious and beautiful and actually kind of refreshing. It doesn't like, it's not overwhelming sweet, it doesn't cling to your tongue, it actually like washes over um, pretty well. And you get a delicious um, taste of the sherry and those stone fruit notes that she was describing. So this is like a really great drink for, I would say, you know, like those kind of like cooler summer nights, you know, it's like a perfect balance. We're making the backstabbing Betty, starting off with an ounce and a half of our house lemon cordial. All that is essentially is just sugar, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and the peels of a few lemons to kind of get that bitterness from the pith. Gives it a nice, well-rounded, delicious, delicious nose. I'm gonna put in five drops of our house-made pink peppercorn tincture. Really easy to make at home. You just macerate some pink peppercorns in 100 proof neutral grain spirit, like any kind of vodka, for about five days, and then it's ready to go. An ounce of vodka. Another ounce of Lillet Rosé, which is a French aperitif wine. Slightly sweet, slightly dry, all together wonderful. Then we want to add some ice. You want to be sure to double strain it, strain off those ice chunks. You don't need them in there. Add a couple straws and a lemon roll garnish. We're ready to go. Mmm. This is like the best adult lemonade. That's all the time we have today on Pour It Up. Join us next time on My New Philly, where something's always new and everything's always Philly. Cheers.